Take a look at how to irritate people at life. We can't, of course, hope to be comprehensive, so just look on this as a refresher course, a few hints on how to help people to become more neurotic. Now, if you want to irritate people purely for pleasure, one fundamental rule must be observed. Never push them too far. If you don't do go too far, they will explode into anger, shouting, stamping, becoming abusive and so forth, which releases all the tensions and frustrations that we've carefully built up. And we don't want to do that, do we? With a little skill and tact, we can keep those very same tensions bottled up inside them for weeks, months, who knows? Eventually, you may induce a nervous breakdown or there is a particular type of middle-aged woman who uses irritation as a way of life. It's the only thing she's really... Shopping areas, blocking the pavement, tormenting babies, spreading rumours and spending a fortune on bargains. She enjoys worrying and being shocked. Individually, she is intolerable. In a group, horrific. Here's a squadron of them in a cinema irritating a bona fide cinema goer. These ladies are effective, but they're not very subtle. It's quite obvious what they're up to. It's like, for example, going to a football game and cheering for a team that isn't playing, or wearing fancy dress at a funeral, or setting fire to Julie Andrews. It's irritating. There are several methods of irritating people at neighboring tables. The best involves talking very loudly and dropping names, places, and things. Make these as big as possible. Try um, a politician saying, my friends. The Inland Revenue saying, we remain, sir, your obedient servants. The telephone service saying, sorry you've been troubled. A policeman saying, Merry Christmas. Yes, insincerity is a powerful irritant and a major weapon in the armory of nature's liars, salesmen. It isn't inefficiency itself that is so irritating. It's the refusal to admit inefficiency. Women try to force praise out of us by insulting themselves. 